Imagine it's certainly been a busy day as crews and neighbors begin the cleanup process. Take a look at this drone video from earlier today. You can see a church in the town square there gone in Mayfield. Only debris left, but support has been coming in from all over the country. Matthew Torres spent the day with survivors overwhelmed by the help, and he has the story live joining us tonight from Mayfield. Matthew. Well, if there's one thing you notice when you drive around the Mayfield community, it's that sense of resiliency. It is easy to be surrounded by destruction. It's just as easy to spot the generosity from others. Right here. There we go. If the church is the hands and feet of God, then his house ministries in Mayfield is on a sprint. Volunteers have been nonstop this weekend. So, they right here. Rushing to give families devastated by the tornado a piece of comfort. Oh, I like that. I like that. Dina Cato and her four kids are among many families who lost everything inside a place that's become ground zero for donations. Did you get shirts? I got two shirts. She admits her foundation is shaky. Watching my kids dig through donated items, it, uh, yeah, it, it hits, it's hard. 12 members of her family and neighbors barely made it to the basement that night when walls came crashing down. We hear this loud boom and uh, every window in the house exploded. The roof was lifted, uh, a chimney fell. Not one person was hurt. She says her husband ran across the street to help their neighbors trapped by the rubble. Everyone made it out alive except a four-year-old boy. A little four-year-old child. And in their devastation, they were helping that family try to get out. Lori DeLapp is from Mayfield, choosing to do what she knows her community does best, opening up her home to those in need. They've lost everything, but yet they're still laughing. They're still loving, so it's, it's just been a blessing. She's now taking care of at least 10 people, including the Cato's. There's people that lost everything, that have lost family. There are people that haven't even been found yet, and it just, we're just so blessed, and I just, I hate it for those families, and I'm praying for them. In a dash to assist families, Cato says it's not about the hands that give, but the hearts behind it. It's been a very humbling experience. And aside from the church, people were also able to pick up food from the uh, Mayfield High School parking lot. There's been so much interest in volunteering. The county has also created an online form for people to sign up. Reporting live in Mayfield, I'm Matthew Torres, WHAS 11 on your side.